The Wind in the Willows Summary The Wind in the Willows is a novel written by Kenneth Graham and was first published in 1908. It is a children's novel, and Graham was inspired to write it based on the bedtime stories he told his son Alastair. Many consider this book children's fiction, but there are adults who can enjoy it as well. To date, it is considered evergreen and many readers still view it as a good read despite it being a century old. If you need a more thorough The Wind in the Willow summary, check out the next sections, which explain more about the themes and other literary devices used. Overview. The story revolves around Mole's travels along the river next to his home, where he meets Ratty, Badger, and Toad. However, Toad becomes obsessed with motor cars and ends up in trouble, which his friends work to help him overcome. Sometimes, you may need help with other mediums of entertainment, such as films, and our The Wind in the Willow summary experts can offer expert tips on how to write a film synopsis. The Wind in the Willows characters. Below is a list of characters in The Wind in the Willows. 1. Mole. Mole or Moly is the main character, who is described as thoughtful, self-reliant, timid, friendly, and a homebody. He seeks adventure and adapts to the hectic world on the riverbank, too. Rat. Rat or Ratty is a water vole who loves hanging out near the river. He is a poetic dreamer, who is charming, friendly, enjoy leisure, loves routine, and is loyal to his friends. 3. Toad. Toad or Toady is the wealthy owner of Toad Hall. He inherited his property from his father and is known for boasting obsessive behavior, and immature outbursts. His obsession with motor cars lands him in trouble, which his friends have to help him with. 4. Badger. Badger is a wise resident of the area and a rich friend of Toad's late father. He lives underground, is a good fighter, and is often strict with Toad. 5. Otter. Otter is a friend to the other characters. While he is not as wealthy as the others, he is confident and supportive. Otter has a young son portly and always knows what is going on behind the scenes. He also protects smaller animals like rats and moles. 6. The weasel, ferrets, and stoats, led by weasel, these are the antagonists who want to take over Toad Hall. 7. Pan, a gentle god who lives in the wild and cares for portly when he is lost. 8. The jailer's daughter, the jailer's daughter is the only human character and helps Toad escape from prison. 9. Squirrels and Rabbits The squirrels and rabbits are noted to be usually pleasant characters, but the rabbits are often called a mixed lot. 10. The Wayfarer The Wayfarer is a sea-traveling vagabond rat who tries to convince rat to travel with him. 11. The Bargewoman the barge woman is the owner of the barge and horse which Toad steals. At first, Toad seeks her help, but she throws him out of the barge when she realizes he is a Toad. 12. Inhabitants of the Wild Wood, these are untrustworthy members of the wood. The Wind in the Willows setting, the setting of the Wind in the Willows is a rural area, during the Edwardian era, when Edward V 111 reigned right after Queen Victoria's reign. The characters are not familiar with motor cars and prefer caravans and simpler methods of transportation hence proving that they are in a rural area. Some also state that the river could be the Thames. The plot of the wind in the willows, below is a comprehensive the wind in the willows plot summary. The wind in the willows plot begins with Mole getting bored with his spring cleaning now that the weather has improved. He travels to the river and meets Rat who invites him for a ride in his boat and later on moves in with him. One day, they visit Toad Hall, where they find the friendly but obsessive Toad, who is now obsessed with motorcars after his horse-drawn caravan falls into a ditch when a motorcar scares the horse, time passes, and winter comes. Mole goes to the wild wood to seek out Badger, but gets lost. Rat finds him hiding near some tree roots, and they try to go home. Mole scrapes his foot on Badger's door, and they find the elusive Badger. Badger welcomes them with food, clean clothes, and conversation. The visitors tell him of Toad's problems, 
such as crashing seven cars, being hospitalized thrice, and paying several fines. They decide to help Toad adopt more self-control as a result of this. When spring arrives, they put Toad on house arrest. However, Toad tricks them and escapes. He goes to the Red Lion Inn and sees a motor car, which he steals and drives recklessly. Toad is arrested and receives a 20-year prison sentence. In jail, he meets the jailer's daughter, who helps him escape. He goes to Rat's home and finds that Toad Hall was stolen by the stoats, weasels, and ferrets who chased his friends out. The four friends, Rat, Mole, Badger, and Toad arm themselves and attack the wild woodus at Toad Hall. Once they are out of his house, Toad hosts a party for his friends and neighbors. At the party, Toad apologizes for his misdeeds and makes up for them to everyone he offended. The story ends at this point, and the four friends live happily ever after. If you would like to write something similar to this summary of The Wind in the Willows, check out our detailed essay on how to write a summary of a book. However, for a polished essay, place an order today, and our The Wind in the Willows summary experts will offer affordable and quality help. Themes in The Wind in the Willows 1. Friendship Friendship is the main theme among the main The Wind in the Willows themes. It describes the adventures of the four friends. They go exploring along the river, tell stories, help each other, and venture into the woods through the seasons. 2. Adventure The four friends get into difficult and sometimes fun situations. For example, Rat and Mole go to seek Badger's home, and in another instance, Toad seeks excitement, which leads to his arrest once he's caught driving carelessly. As noted in the Wind in the Willows plot summary, this is a major and noticeable theme. 3. Etiquette and conduct, for the animals that reside along the river. There is a code of conduct, which they call animal etiquette, which guides their interactions. Conduct is also an observable and major theme, as per our The Wind in the Willows summary, such as when the friend group tries to help Toad overcome his obsession with motor cars, as well as his arrogance. Their society also has consequences for those who do not abide by their rules. At their first meeting, Mole avoids asking Rat about Otter's whereabouts since he realizes it is not polite, and this helps him form a connection with Rat that leads them to live together. 4. Greed and Arrogance Toad is wealthy and has an inflated sense of self. This leads him to several issues, which his friends have to help him out of. While his friends are just as wealthy, Toad lacks restraint. 5. Social class. It is also worth noting that the friends can afford to go on adventures since they are wealthy, while the lower class neighbors are working. This social class distinction was common in the Edwardian era and shows how the rich have more privilege than other classes. As such, social class is a visible theme you can observe. 6. Nature versus the modern world For the four friends, enjoying the natural world is a source of leisure. They also view it as a wonderful experience. Rat and Mole even remark that the wind is singing to them. When Portly gets lost in the woods, they find Pan, the Greek god of nature, watching over him. However, the modern world and its technology, motor cars, threaten the peace and purity of their society. 7. Home, identity, and adventure, the homes of the main characters reflect their behavior. For example, Toad's house is lavish, while Mole lives in a neat home. These differences show what each value is, such as how Rat is poetic and keeps a neat house that is close to the river, but is not practical due to flooding. A home is simply a place where the animals feel comfortable enough to be themselves, but they often seek out adventures outside these safe spaces. The wind in the willow's symbolism, the river is symbolic of freedom and independence. Mole goes there to explore, as he comes of age leading to adventures. Another symbol is cars, which represent the modern and industrialized world that threatens peace and safety in the countryside where the creatures reside. 
These contribute to the theme of nature versus the modern world, as well as identity and adventure. The Wind in the Willows Historical the Cultural Context The Wind in the Willows was written in the 1900s, during the Edwardian era in Britain. This era was marked by social and technological advancement and is known as the The Gilded Age. The arts industry thrived, largely because there was a prosperity that allowed the British to invest in entertainment. It is, therefore, no wonder that the main characters are all wealthy individuals who enjoy the pleasures of life. Despite this, there were many poor people, just like some characters like the weasels who coexisted with and worked for the rich. Just like in the book, the different social classes exist in rigid roles, and there is not much class mixing. If you would like help with analyzing the context, themes, and literary devices in other books, just place an order. An hour the wind in the willow summary experts will be happy to help however. If you would like expert assistance to help you analyze the various literary devices used in these courses, check out our article on how to write a book review. The wind in the willows genre, the wind in the willows falls within the genre of general children's fiction. It is a made-up story and does not contain any elements of magic or something that would place it in another genre. This is because it occurs in a fictitious world with talking animals. Please note that aside from the wind in the willow summary, we also offer guides in different genres, such as our 1984 book summary.